Hello everyone, it's Big Money Rebel back with another video. This time I thought I would do something different. I haven't really been showing my hauls like from Goodwill and stuff like that right away. So I thought I would kind of make a Goodwill haul video. Okay. Here's the first thing I found. Brand new. <laughs> Looked it up. It's worth money, so I'm going to make some make a decent profit on it. I'm starting to try to branch out into different things and learn about things that I haven't normally checked into when I go sourcing. They had a ton of helmets at the Goodwill I went to. The problem is they wanted crazy prices. <laughs> Some of the helmets that I looked at they wanted 40, 50, 60, 80 dollars. There's no way in hell I'm going to pay that for something that I'm going to resell unless it's going to be worth hundreds of dollars. I'm not going to pay that just to turn around and sell something for 100 or 120. That's crazy. I'll happily pay that if I'm going to get 4 or 500 or more, but not not a hundred or a hundred and twenty or a hundred and fifty or whatever, because that's just not worth it to me. But these two were the cheapest ones I found that I could actually make a profit on. This one is going to, well, they're both going to need a new visor, but other than that, they seem to be in. That one especially is in pretty good shape. This one is kind of scratched, but oh well. You get what you pay for, I guess, when it's used merchandise. <laughs> I still haven't really learned how people can... I don't have a GoPro or one of those cameras that I could strap to my head. I have to stand here and grab everything with one hand and hold the phone while I film. So that's why my videos might not always be in perfectly in frame or whatever. Because I'm busy trying to... Okay. I always pick up modems because I sell those really well. I'm not sure what this one will go for. Usually for the for most of the Motorola ones, I get between sixty and maybe a hundred and sixty somewhere in there, depending on the model of it. I always grab the Motorola ones just because I know they sell. This would be a lot easier if I had someone to help me film the videos, but my wife goes to the thrift stores with me, but she doesn't do anything with the videos or anything like that. I'm just trying to... Okay. And just to prove I'm actually doing a Goodwill haul, that's the Goodwill bag. <laughs> and there's the Goodwill price tag. There's a lot of really cynical people on YouTube who don't believe anything they see or always instantly think everyone's a liar and all that kind of stuff. So, 
like I said, I don't know what these will go for, but usually for the Motorola ones, I get from, like I said, between 60 and maybe 160 or 170, somewhere in there. It depends on the model and all that. They go for different amounts for each modem goes for a different amount, I guess, by the model or whatever. probably should have just took everything out of the bags before I started filming, but oh well, it's just part of the process. <laughs> These need cleaned up. Kind of dirty, but they're in really good shape other than the dirt. I'll probably get like 95 bucks or somewhere in there for those Okay, I'm gonna throw those down here and loud noise <laughs> I have a habit of making really loud noises in my videos, I noticed, because I went back and watched some of them, and they had, like, just random loud noises for no apparent reason. Come on, what the, come out of there. That thing was stuck. Okay. Pick that up for, I think I paid, like, what did I pay, six bucks? I'll probably, I don't know what I'll get for that. Okay. <laughs> My wife grabbed all these, I don't know. I don't usually show stuff like this because most people don't care about crap like that, so... I usually leave that type of stuff out of the videos, but I'm trying to show everything that I get. My wife thinks these might be worth reselling. I'm not so sure. Oh, it could be. I don't know. It's from a bug's life. So they're kind of older. I'll have to look them up. I haven't even really checked them. <laughs> as long as they don't destroy them by throwing them like I'm doing, they might be worth something. Hopefully these thing, notifications that are popping up aren't making all kinds of noise on the video. I can't tell. I hope they're not. I haven't looked any of this stuff up either, so I'm just showing you what I found. I'm, I have no clue what any of it is. My wife is more the Disney person than I am. I have no clue about any of this stuff. She's the one grabbed it and threw it in the cart and said that we would make a profit on it. I don't know if we will or not. Okay, I have no clue what that is or if it's going to even come out of the bag. Dang, it's in like a Ziploc. Come on. Oh. Another toy of some kind. I don't know what the hell that is either. But like I said, I'm not the...
person who knows about that. My wife is. <laughs> I'll have to look all those up and maybe make another video talking about... If I find out they're worth anything, I'll make another video talking about what they're worth. If they're worth anything. And... Come on. Never heard of this brand before, but got them really cheap. So, and I looked them. I think this is the, like one of the only things I looked up when I was at the store because I saw the design. I was like, "What the hell is this?" Because at first I thought they were Converse because that's what they look like, but no, they're not. <laughs> Anyway, they go for like, I think, probably around 30 bucks, something like that. We're trying to just branch out into different things and... I don't know. We're trying to just see what we can make money on and what we can't, pretty much. <laughs> I guess. We're willing to buy anything that... We like to experiment. Put it that way. <laughs> I Most of this, like I said, I have no clue what we'll get for it. I just like to, we like to experiment with different things like ties and whatever we can find that might bring something. Most of them don't, but if you get the right ones, you can make money. Oh, man. This is going to turn into one hell of a long video. <laughs> I think this might be the longest one I've made so far. I'm getting to the point where I'm just grabbing stuff out of the bag and throwing it straight into the... <laughs> because I'm getting, like, tired of filming after 13 minutes. Okay, come on. Okay, hold on just a second. I gotta... Okay. I'm still here, still filming the video. It's blacked out, I know, because I set the phone down because I had to grab this. And I needed both hands to do that. These are probably going to be the most expensive thing, or the most expensive pair of shoes that we found. I just randomly saw these. Because I walked away, my wife walked away from me, and I couldn't find her. And then I just decided to go look at the shoes, and... And this was like after I had already glanced at the shoes and found the other, one of the other pairs that I already showed. I found these. And, yeah. I think these will probably be like a hundred bucks or maybe more. But, that's the last thing that I wanted to show in the video. I'm going to look up those Disney toys or whatever you want to call them and see if those are worth anything and I have another video that I'm going to make not sure when I'm going to make that but I haven't really been putting videos out this week like I have been but nobody watches my videos anyway so I'm basically just doing this to document what we find because <clears throat> 
most resellers don't actually show everything they find. So I'm trying to do that as much as I possibly can.